Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here, back at the boardwalk. It's a nice day, it's a little chilly, but not too bad. Uh, well, okay, we'll give you a view of this. <laughs> all kinds of fun and hijinks down on the boardwalk. All right, so here's what's been going on with the new territory that has been beshat upon me, I have just been dealing with the logistics of everything and trying to get that all taken care of. But I'm not obviously going to be sitting there all that time without moving. And I needed to get outside and get some fresh air and just move a little bit. It, again, it's too nice to be sitting inside all damn day. All that being said, while my Initial reaction yesterday was being pissed off. Today, uh, I have a little bit different perspective, and I'm just going to look at it as uh, sort of new areas to, to be able to go to that I haven't had to for this job before. New places to explore, new places to take pictures and videos. So, yay. All right, that being said, I have been working on familiarizing myself with all of this new gear. The A7R4 is a spectacular camera and the Sigma lenses that I got for it so far, the 24 to 70, the 100 to 400 and the 85 are like just phenomenal. The, the pictures that I'm getting are just phenomenal. The whole setup is phenomenal and I'm thrilled to death with it and I love it and I'm having a lot of fun. I have forgotten an awful lot about being a photographer and it's all coming back to me now. So I have, you know, sort of made it a point to go out every day and every day it take it post at least one picture. So hence the pick a day on my Facebook. One of the other things that I've been doing, which is no different from any other time, is I have been watching a shit ton of videos. So I've watched videos on everything from the A7R4 to each individual lens to every other lens that I had considered and that I'm still considering, filters that I have considered, how to properly use all this stuff, tutorials, like behind the scenes photo shoots. I have also looked at a number of videos just on photography in general. So videos on composition, on posing, working with models, so on and so forth. And one of the other places that has just become one of my favorites, and he is completely one of my favorite creators, is Sean Tucker. Sean Tucker is a fantastic photographer from across the pond, and he has these fantastic videos that don't have a lot of pomp and circumstance, and really it is very down to earth, easily explained, very low-key and it just sort of, I don't know, almost like you're having a conversation with a friend where he's talking about this, that, or the other thing. I have been watching a bunch of his videos on lighting with either the 8200 Pro, the Godox 8200 Pro, which I got, and uh, speed lights in general, you know, one light setups, so on and so forth, doing all this stuff out in the sun instead of doing it just with natural light, using you know, like using these flashes to to enhance the daylight rather than combat it, and it, it's it's really spectacular. Now, I have also looked at a number of the things that he uses, the equipment that he uses, that he suggests, or that he basically has said that he you know he's put together that work really well for him, and it's really right along the lines of what I want to do and what would work really well for me. Now, you know, I had already decided a long time ago when I was still just tinkering with the video and not really looking into photography that much that I was going to get that 8200 Pro. I, I thought that that was a, a little bit above just normal speed light and that it would be perfect for me for, for the small setup that I wanted to do. As it turns out, you know, that's one of the things that he uses in his, his small travel kit that he thinks is fantastic. And also with the, uh, I guess it's like a, a speed light mount, a Bowens mount that he uses 
with a collapsible softbox umbrella type thing. Now, I was looking at those last night after the video I watched and decided that that really wasn't what I wanted. And that the, the ones that I found were gigantic. And I just, I didn't want to deal with that. It also pretty much prompted me to get a couple different accessories for the AD200 Pro, which I have gotten today. And I did order a collapsible background, something that I haven't had, but I've always wanted to get because I always felt that it would be helpful. And after watching his videos and seeing how he uses them, uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I ordered it laying in bed last night. That will be here on Thursday. Today, I got the different head for the AD200 Pro, an additional battery, because you gotta have that. And then I got the metal bulb protector for the bulb head that's, that's on that 8200 Pro because it kind of freaked me out. And then I saw that you could actually get something that protected it. So got those today. So I'm gonna say by the end of this week, I should have pretty much completed my kit. We all know that I'm already set for video. I got everything I need for that. I don't need anything else. And now once I get the collapsible background and whatever it is else that I can't remember that I got, uh, you know, in addition to the accessories I got for the AD200 Pro, I think I'm all set. I've also been practicing with all this stuff and I think I've got, uh, you know, a very good grip on how to use that properly for what I want to do. That being said, again, I have to start working with human beings. And I did reach out to the girl that was a no-show last week and and you know water under the bridge and we're, we're all ready to go and we were going to meet today and I woke up this morning to a text uh, with a picture of her at the emergency room <laughs> laying in a gurney in extreme pain so kudos to her for for reaching out to me and letting me know that we weren't going to be able to meet today because she's in the hospital in excruciating pain so I hope she gets that all figured out and feels a hell of a lot better and we can get to shooting then the other stuff that I have talked about where I had a couple more people that I was going to reach out to I, I kind of need to grow a set and just reach out to them it's kind of tough though because I don't like to approach people when they're at their job I, I you know I feel like I'm sort of cornering people and it isn't really cool but I kind of don't really have a choice because there's no other way for me to, to get a hold of them. So I'm just going to have to do that and, and see what happens there. As far as my day job goes, I'm going to be really busy doing it now. And I think that that means that I'm coming to the end of my daily posting. And I have said that all along since I started, you know, last year with the daily posting around this time that I was going to post as often as I possibly could but that once I had to go on the road, that it was going to stop because there was no way I was lugging all that shit with me and, and dealing with, you know, doing all the editing on, on an iPad and blah, 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 and all that. I kind of stick to that. I still don't think that's going to happen. I'm not going anywhere until, at the very least, after I'm fully vaccinated. So I've got a little ways to go before that happens. I got my second shot coming up at the end of the month and then it's supposed to take a couple weeks after that. I'm going to say probably end of, end of May, probably June more like it, is when I'll get back on the road. And definitely then I, I will just automatically call it and say that there's no way that I'm going to be daily posting. So I'll have to figure that out. I guess I could do it along the lines of, of how uh, Potato Jet, well, not Potato Jet, Gene Nagata did his daily postings and that he filmed every day but sometimes didn't post until like the third or fourth day and then he just sort of strung them all together into, into that, that one post. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. All right, enough blathering. Uh, the past couple of videos I've sort of gone on a little bit long. Yesterday's was really preachy and ranty and shitty even though I cut a lot of the more angry stuff out. But I'm much more calm today as you can tell. I'm going to just sit here and sort of imbibe the, the wonderfulness of, of sitting outside, uh, looking at the ocean, and just chilling. And I'm going to walk around and take some pictures. So that's pretty much all I've got for you today. I just sort of wanted to dump out, you know, all the, fa uh, the stuff that I'm getting and have gotten and what I plan to do with it. And we'll kind of go from there. As I get all this stuff in and I have it finalized and I know that I have a good grip on how to use it, How's it going? I'm going to then start doing reviews like on each of the Sigma lenses, on the camera itself, and the AD Pro, AD200 Pro, you know, uh, everything. Everything that I've got, all the kit that I put together, I'm going to start doing videos on those specific things. 
and sharing all that information with you and, and sort of giving my thoughts on, on you know, okay, I, I think I, I made a good choice. It's, it's a good bit of kit. It's working really well for me. Or, you know what, this isn't quite working. I'm going to have to think of something else. So we'll, we'll get to that point. Keep an eye out for everything. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up. Thank you.